I'm Josh Light with PaulTicket.com here in Salt Lake City. I'm talking with Jay Segmiller, who's running for District 2. How are you doing today, Jay? I'm doing great. Yourself? I'm doing great. Thanks, Jay. So, Jay, your slogan is Jay for Jobs. How are you going to make jobs? Well, uh, there's a number of things that I want to do. One of the things is I think we need to uh, lower the corporate tax rate uh, to a competitive rate so that we can bring back jobs from overseas. That's, that's one of my my high priorities. I think there's a lot of other things. There's a lot of infrastructure things that need to be uh, done and I think now's the time to do it when the costs are low and so that's that's something that I think we should also be working on. And what issues are you concerned about nationally? Uh, nationally? Um, well you know I think one of the things that we have to really be concerned with is, is um, civility and politics and, and, the, and, and how partisan things have gotten. I think that um, we're a lot closer together on many things than, than, than we're not. And so I think what we need to do is to get, get people to sit down and find out what we do agree on and then, and then move on from there. Uh, this, this all or nothing kind of politics will get us a lot of nothing. And I think what we need to do is be finding what we do agree on and then work, work on that, move forward with what we can agree on and then continue to debate the things that we can't. And what about locally? Um, Locally, I think that we, we again, it's, it's creating jobs here in Utah. I think we need to be creating jobs in here in Utah, and I have a lot of great ideas. I think that we should be, uh, we're a perfect state for green energy type jobs. And I, I think down in, in central Utah where we already have geothermal and we have IPP, which is a coal fired plant that's going to eventually convert to natural gas and we have wind farms we have great access to the grid uh, is a perfect place to take advantage of solar and and other options that are available down there and on Facebook we noticed that you are the second you're the second best on Facebook out of all the Democrats here in the state of Utah why, why is it that people um, are attracted to you on Facebook what's what what do you have on Facebook you know that's a that's a very good question. I think we're trying to keep some some information on there that that will be of interest to people, um, but um, you know, face Facebook and 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 uh, Twitter and all of those things are are a great tool. I think uh, it can be a lot more than that. I think it's a, also a an, an area where we can we can uh, foster ideas from constituents. I think it's a great idea for, or a great way for constituents to to um, give input to me. And, and I think it's also a, a, an area where we have a lot of room for creating jobs. Um, there's, uh, there's blogs that people make money off of. There's, there's uh, interest things like Pinterest and Goodreads that, that are very popular here in Utah. And I think there's a lot more that can be done there. And do you find your constituents uh, talking to you and communicating with you and connecting with you a lot through social networks? Yes, we, we get comments quite often on, on, on Facebook and, and um, and we're 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 trying to to talk to everybody that will talk to us, and we're encouraging people to talk to us. And you were part of the Utah Legislature for some time. How how has that prepared you for taking going to the U.S. Congress? Well, I mean, obviously the system's very similar. Um, one thing that I did really do well at while I was in the legislature was reaching across the aisles and sitting down with people on on issues and trying to find consensus on things and find you know where you know where there were our problems um, you know how we can fix those problems and 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 move forward instead of you know having stalemates so yeah I, I think that there was certainly an advantage to having some exposure up there and how is fundraising going for you right now well, it's going well. Um, I, 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 we've raised more than any other Democratic candidate has raised uh, running for Congress, except for Matheson in the last 10 years, and uh, there's still a lot of time to go. So we, we think that that's going to, to, to speed up as, as well as, as things get closer. People aren't really thinking about politics right now. And, um, I, you know, I think money has, has got playing way too big of a role in politics, and, and, uh, but unfortunately some, it's something that you have to do. And um, when I'm elected, I'm going to try to find ways that we can have money having less of an impact on politics. And so what's your plan going forward to win in November? Well, it's just uh, the same as I, I've, I did when I was running for the, the state legislature. Um, I'm just trying to get out and talk to as many people as I can. Uh, I think when people get to know what my issues are um, and uh, what, what I'm, I'm trying to do, I think that people from all, all parties, all, all walks of life will, be, will like 
the idea of, of supporting a guy that's a working blue collar guy and uh, not someone that that's going to be uh, using the, this this position to uh, have personal gain. Well, thanks for meeting with us today, Jay. Well, thank you. And uh, for anybody that wants to find out more information, uh, you can find out more at www.jforjobs.com, and that's all spelt out. And, uh, and you can find me on Facebook as well, and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, Jay. Thank you.